Welcome to video 10 of the AdWords Editor video training course brought to you by ppccampaigngenerator.com. In this video I want to talk about the Campaigns tab and I want to talk about the settings within this Campaigns tab. Now it's very important that you learn these settings because these settings will dictate how well your account performs. So let me ask you a question. Do you want to have a CPC campaign or do you want to have a CPM campaign? Do you want to target the search network? or do you want to target the display network? Do you want to target all devices or do you want to just target desktop and laptop computers, mobile devices with full browsers, and tablets with full browsers? How do you want to show your ads? Do you want to show them evenly over time or do you want to show them as quickly as possible? And in terms of rotation, do you want to rotate your ads to show all your ads evenly or do you want to optimize them for clicks or conversions? Then, do you want to target your campaign to a specific geographic location? Those are all the questions that you have to ask yourself when setting up your campaign. With so many settings, it's easy to get overwhelmed and confused. So, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to assume from this point on that you're just like a general advertiser, probably like 90% of the people out there that just want to get their ads on Google. They just want to type in something in Google. They just want to see their ad when they type for their keyword. So to do that what you need to do is choose the CPC bidding model and the way you do that is by selecting a CPC campaign. And What this means is every time somebody clicks your ad you're going to pay per click. And just so you know CPM bidding means cost per 1000 impressions so if you choose a CPM model you can only advertise on the display network and you won't be paying per click you will be paying per 1,000 impressions. Make sure you check the None for Display Network. Make sure you choose Google and Search Network for the Search Network. What this means is Google has partners. AOL.com is a partner of Google. Google powers AOL.com search results. So when you advertise with AdWords, you can advertise on Google and Google's search partners like AOL. If you don't want to do this, you can choose Google search only, but I wouldn't recommend it. Then you have to decide what devices do you want to advertise on. You have an option here. You can choose desktop and laptop computers, mobile devices with full browsers, tablets with full browsers. The way you decide what devices you want to target is by simply asking yourself, what does my site look like on a mobile device? Does it function properly? Is it a good user experience? Can we get results out of our mobile marketing? If the answer is no, if it doesn't look good, if it doesn't function correctly, if it doesn't have the same content, if you don't have a mobile website, um, maybe you shouldn't opt in to the mobile devices with full browsers. And if your site doesn't look good on tablets, if it's not optimized, if it, it provides a bad user experience, then maybe you should opt out of that too. If you're just getting started and you don't want to blow a lot of money, I would just keep desktop and laptop computers selected. Then, for enhanced CPC, you have to ask yourself, do I have conversion tracking enabled? If you just asked, what is conversion tracking? Then the answer is no, you don't have conversion tracking enabled and you can't use enhanced CPC. So, in setting it to enabled wouldn't do anything if you didn't have conversion tracking enabled. And conversion tracking is basically a piece of code that you can create within AdWords, which I'll have a tutorial on later. But you take that code and you go to a page on your site, perhaps a thank you page after somebody fills out a web form or something, you paste that code in there. And this time, every time somebody fills out a form that came from paid search, they land on that thank you page that triggers a conversion. A conversion is nothing more than an action that you define as valuable. So with those enabled, you can enable enhanced CPC. But we won't get into that right now. Just keep it disabled. And even if you did have conversion tracking enabled, I wouldn't recommend you enable it for a new campaign. So keep it disabled. For the delivery method, choose standard show ads evenly over time. Unless you have a huge budget and you want to try and exhaust it as quickly as possible, you can click accelerated. Some advertisers have a huge budget that they need to spend, so they want to show their ads at 
all hours of the day, no matter what time it is, and they just want to exhaust their budget as quickly as possible. If that's not you and you're kind of on a budget, you want to make sure you spend your money wisely. Choose standard, show ads evenly over time. Plus, you'll get better results doing it this way. For your budget, you can set it right here. We could make it 20 bucks per day. If you had a start and end date, so for example, if you wanted to end the campaign in a week, you could do that by selecting it from this calendar. And the ad rotation. So let me ask you, are you going to write multiple ads? If you are, then since this is a new campaign, I would recommend setting this to rotate to show ads more evenly because if you're going to split test ads you want to give both of the ads a fair chance to perform. Sometimes when I click optimize for clicks Google will favor one ad over another and not give it a fair chance of performing so I would suggest you choose rotate show ads more evenly and this optimize for conversions is only enabled if you have conversion tracking. Ad scheduling should be done within the AdWords interface the language targeting, you can do it here if you want, but for the most part, that won't change too much for most advertisers. And then the location targeting. I would not recommend you set your location targeting within AdWords Editor. I always do it within the interface because there are more options within the interface. There are map options, and, and these are sorted from A to Z, not based on the state, but based on the city name. So. This is just a really bad way to set your location targeting. Okay, so that covers it for this video. In the next video, I want to talk about the extensions. Thanks for watching.